Welcome to an example of numerical integration. We want to use Simpson's rule and all the data in the following table to estimate the value of the given definite integral. So the first thing we should notice here is that we don't actually have the function, but we do have enough function values to make our estimate using Simpson's rule given by this formula here. Looking at this table, notice how the change in x is one unit, and therefore delta x equals one, so the width of each subinterval is equal to one. Also, the starting x value of 10 would be x sub zero, x sub one would be 11, x sub two would be 12, and so on. Notice x sub six is the last x value of 16, which means n equals six, which is good news because n must be even in order to use Simpson's rule. So before applying this formula though, the main thing to remember when using Simpson's rule is that we're using quadratic functions to approximate the definite integral. For example, looking at this graph here, f of x is graphed in blue. To approximate the integral of f of x from x sub zero to x sub two, we would actually use the red quadratic function over the same interval. Notice how we're using two subintervals to form the quadratic function p of x this is why n has to be even. So if we only had two subintervals and we're using one quadratic function to make our estimate, we would have this formula here, but when using multiple intervals and multiple quadratics, we can show that it simplifies to this formula here, which I explain more in the lesson video. So going back to our example, before we complete this formula, let's take a look at these points on the coordinate plane. Here we have x sub zero through x sub six. If we consider these first two intervals from x sub zero to x sub two, if we try to sketch a quadratic through these three points, it might look something like this. So using Simpson's rule, we would use this quadratic function to make our estimate for the integral on the interval from x sub zero to x sub two. And then from x sub two to x sub four, we would use a quadratic passing through these three points, so it might look something like this. And then for the interval from x sub four to x sub six, our quadratic function might look something like this. So to better visualize this, if we start at x sub zero here, and we stop at x sub six here, using these green quadratic functions, if we shade the area bounded by the function in the x-axis, it would look something like this. I use two different colors here just to emphasize that the value of the integral over the green region would be positive, and over the remaining interval would be negative here and here because the function values are below the x-axis here. Now let's go back and make our estimate. Our approximation is going to be, we have the quantity b minus a divided by three n, so that would be 16 minus 10, divided by three times n, which is six, times, notice the pattern here for Simpson's rule, the first is just f of x sub zero, which in our case would be f of 10, plus four times f of x sub one, or f of 11, plus two times f of x sub two, which is f of 12, plus four times f of x sub three, which is f of 13, plus two times f of x sub four, which is f of 14, plus four times f of x sub five, which is 15, and then finally our last x value is x sub six, so it's going to be just plus f of x sub six or f of 16. Notice the patterns here, we start and end with f, and then the coefficients are four, two, four, two, four. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Here we have six over six times three, that's just one third. And then f of 10 we can see is just seven, plus four times f of 11, which is six, plus two times f of 12, which is three, plus four times f of 13, which is negative three, 
plus two times f of 14, which is negative five, plus four times f of 15, which is zero, plus f of 16, which is negative eight. So we have one third times seven plus 24 plus six plus negative 12 or minus 12 plus negative 10 or minus 10 plus zero plus negative eight or just minus eight. Finally, we just have one third, this simplifies to seven, if we want seven over one, so our estimation would be seven thirds. So our estimation of the definite integral using Simpson's rule with delta x equal one and n equal six would be seven thirds. I hope you found this explanation helpful.